Hey everybody, I'm back. <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry for the long wait. It, it's been crazy here. A lot of like ups and downs plus the Owl House season 2. <laughs> My hyper fixation on that has just skyrocketed and then last week I completely forgot I had vacation plans with my roommate so yeah uh, <laughs> we went to Maine it was pretty ate a bunch of lobster rolls and funny enough I got windburn similar to a sunburn but more cold <laughs> So a good chunk of my face is really red. Uh, but anyway, I'm back now and I should be back on track to uploading every week. Uh, but as I said in my last video, I would be redesigning Kagami. And before I get into her civilian and hero outfits, I'd like to say some stuff about her in general because after re-watching the series, yes, I did re-watch the series, so people in the comments, I watched it. <laughs> it was not fun, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but after rewatching the series, I've noticed a bit more about Kagami than my first watch of her. Like, I had no idea she even had freckles. Like, why didn't anyone tell me? I just assumed it was like a, a fan headcanon thing. <laughs> Shows how much I was paying attention during the first watch. Though I will say again, I'm not a huge fan of her 3D model. Obviously, I can't say anything about her body type since everyone has the same body model, like, except for three of the other kids. <laughs> but her model's face, just like Chloe, has a hairline problem. But in this case, instead of how Chloe's hairline is like much further down than it should be, <laughs> Kagami's bangs are the problem. Like, they take up half of her face space, which one, makes it harder to read her expressions, because again, her eyebrows are covered <laughs> and two just looks so cluttered like don't get me wrong I've had super long bangs and you can and you couldn't really see my face super well either but <laughs> I'm not a character being watched by other people so it doesn't matter if you can't see my face but for animated characters covering a good amount of your character's face is not the best idea in terms of expression I mean there are times when it's okay like dramatic reveal or like scars you know stuff like that like you know I, it's weird to bring it up but Kakashi is the one I think of the most because his face is the most covered but most of the time you really want your audience to see the character's face at full view <laughs> if that makes sense I'm like rambling sorry uh and lastly Kagami's eyes there's honestly nothing wrong with the shape it's fine since she's she is Japanese that's not the problem I'm having but I think what's always bothered me is how turnt they are like <laughs> I feel they don't need to be tilted so high and I often wonder if they did that to make room for her bangs because it's just Kagami's eyes have always looked off to me and with her bangs being so in the way it's even more noticeable to me but you know you guys let me know because I can't be the only one I don't know it could just be a me thing I I just don't know it's the only like one thing I've noticed out of her whole model but anyways uh that's all I have to say about Kagami's model because again there's not really anything to say about it it's it's a pretty basic model and uh it's very opposite to marinette's model which is the whole point of it because you know adrian originally thinks kagami is ladybug so da 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 all that jazz i don't have much to say about kagami's character or personality because she's kind of boring <laughs> yeah yeah you can all hate me for it i just don't see her as a character i can connect with it's a me thing I know a lot of people who actually really enjoy Kagami and I'm like, I wish I could be that enthusiastic about her, but I just can't. <laughs> she's just not a character type that I genuinely enjoy, but that's fine. That's just me. And again, she's very clearly Marinette's opposite, but like in all the wrong ways. Like she's into Adrian and even gets him as a boyfriend, but can't make friends. Like she oozes self-confidence. How do you not know how to make friends, but have the ability to get a boyfriend? No problem. I just don't get it. Her personality also does so many 360s she could take over for Tony Hawk like I really can't with Miraculous sometimes they really can't keep their characters notes in order <laughs> they I just I don't understand how they can be so I don't know I, I don't know the word for it like they clearly don't pay attention I feel like that's the problem they don't pay attention to their own characters which hurts them in the long run because like then there's so many like weird plot holes and weird like character moments that don't make sense uh but anyway let's get on to the designs before i lose track of what i'm even saying anymore <laughs> okay okay i just have to say this the show is lazy they're lazy we all know it we've all 
come to terms with it. I mean, what the F kind of outfit is this? Because, surprise, it's not even an outfit. It's a school uniform. Like, what the heck? Like, isn't she homeschooled? I feel like that might have been brought up. I honestly don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Because I've always assumed she's homeschooled. Like, <laughs> why is she wearing a uniform all the time, for one thing? I don't get it. Her mother works with Gabriel, so she must have some kind of fashion background or at least knows enough about high fashion to some degree because, again, her mother works in the world of fashion in some way. It's never really said what they, what her mother and Gabriel do, but I think one of the synopsis said that their brands work together, so Kagami's mom has a brand. I wish I knew what the brand was, but, you know. And even if her mom was like, don't waste your time on high fashion, I'm sure she'd put her daughter in something more sporty because she's got her kid in a full-blown skirt and suit practicing fencing in a hot-ass park. Like, why? <laughs> I feel so bad for her when I see her, like, running around. I'm like, you've got to be sweating so hard right now. <laughs> So, when redesigning her, I gave her a more relaxed look. I still kept the, uni the school uniform vibe by keeping the original colors. I made her vest texture similar to her fencing gear. And yeah, I kept the skirt, sue me. Though, it's kind of like a long t-shirt either way. Uh, I figured it was more comfortable to wear since she's in her gear all the time. Like, even in Marinette's, like, Instagram account... <laughs> there's just so many pictures of her in her gear <laughs> and I'm like I feel so bad you don't have like any comfortable clothes and all you do is like fence <laughs> poor girl poor kid uh, <laughs> I, I just really wanted her outfit to still be stylish but less layered and restrictive plus it's an outfit that wouldn't look so out of place in Paris because I mean she's wearing a freaking school uniform that I don't even know if Paris has school uniforms. Somebody let me know. I'm in my closet. I don't have time to search. <laughs> As for Kagami's hair, I slicked that sucker down. <laughs> like, like it's cute. Like her original style is cute. Don't get me wrong. But it's massively big. <laughs> and the way it's styled just makes me think helmet hair. It's just, <clears throat> Or like Velma's hair back like old school Scooby-Doo. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just, just does not work for me. I'm sorry. I also gave her blunt bangs since whatever style bangs you want to call this does absolutely nothing for her. Like, it just, it looks weird. I don't, it's not even like a typical bang swoop either. It kind of just, it looks like someone just slapped a hairpiece right, right there in the middle. I just, ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to be professional. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Because now you can see her face more clearly with this style of bangs. Uh, also for shoes, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. So I kind of just winged those. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, shoes are my one fashion weakness. I don't understand the importance since I am a barefoot child. <laughs> I just, I hate wearing shoes. I just hate it. If I could be barefoot all the time, I would. But the world is not prepared for barefoot people. <laughs> But then again, I also wear Crocs, so yeah, don't take my f my shoe fashion advice at all. I have none. <laughs> but that's all I really have for this design. I mean, I, again, it's a very simplistic style for her. She's a very simplistic person, so, you know. And, and plus, this is something I think her mother would like her to wear. I don't know. I mean, her mom, it just, I have no idea. The mother's opinion means nothing to me because she's... She really isn't there enough for me to make an opinion about her. <laughs> uh, but anyway, on to the hero suit. <laughs> okay, again, what is with the show? What is with this show? Why are all the female suits so freaking boring? Like, like, come on, give us something new and exciting instead of another ladybug recolored suit, which this didn't even do because it's also red, <laughs> which in hindsight, I should have noticed since since the dragon Kwame is red. That should have been my my red flag right there. <laughs> but I at the time, I remember being so excited to see the Dragon Kwame suit because it was the only one that was a mythical animal. But when it finally happened and I saw Kagami's suit, I was just so disappointed, you guys. I just, I was so sad. 
It's the same damn outfit, just with gold instead of black. What the fuck? Seriously? Ugh. Who thought this was a smart idea? Like, I want to know. Like, I, I, I can't with this show anymore, you guys. They just... <laughs> you can tell no one is really trying. <laughs> and that bothers me so much. Because I... You can just tell nobody is really trying anymore at, the, at, at this point. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Okay. I gotta focus now. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Okay, when redesigning Kagami's hero suit, I went in the same direction I did with Gabriel, just completely started over from scratch. And yeah, I'll admit it's a bit busier than I would have liked, but I designed this in the middle of a breakdown, so yeah. I mean, the design elements I wanted are there. Like, for example, the color palette I chose was the same color palette as, like, the power the the weird that the power elements printed on the sword that's the only way i can describe this <laughs> since in my mind that made more sense because like they're weather they're weather elements like why is your suit red but your powers are weather elemented i don't understand i don't understand the thought process of these people i and i don't ever want to <laughs> Plus, having an opposite color to Ladybug's outfit helps out, too, considering the fact that Adrian assumes that Kagami is Ladybug due to her civilian look, not her hero look. So, that's why Kagami's main civilian look is red and her hero suit is blue. That was, that was, the, that was my reason behind it. <laughs> but, I also found out a really cool color fact about blue in Japanese culture. Blue is a color that represents purity and calmness, which Kagami is, mainly because of the stretch of deep blue water that surrounds the Japanese islands and the fact that a lot of Japanese dragons are described as coming from water. Like a lot of a lot of I had to I had to really research a lot of this. A lot of the dragon deities are described as like water type dragons or mist or rain. So you know, very like elemental very watery very blue themed colors so the color just kind of seemed like a really good fit uh as for the hair and you guys already know how i feel about the hair it needs to change i'm so, it just does every character is going to get a different hairstyle from their civilian to their hero it's just gonna happen <laughs> i hate that they all have the exact same hairstyles it bothers me <sighs> okay as for the hairstyle i kind of ripped off lady noir's hair and mixed it with the fur style of a dragon's mane which I'm like stupid proud of. <laughs> and as you can see, the mask was originally more over the top, but after messing around with it, I realized it was way too much for her. I, I may have gone a little overboard with the design elements of the mask. This more simpler design, I really like a little bit. I like a lot more. Plus it just works for Kagami because she is a very simplistic person and I didn't want to do like way too over the top for her. Plus I find that like someone like Kagami, who's a very literal person, I really felt her suit would be the least fantasy styled and more grounded in what a traditional warrior would wear or what she thought a dragon styled suit would be like. Y you know, more literal than like imaginative, if if that makes sense. <laughs> Though I kind of went with a more theatric styled version. I've been kind of watching a lot of Kabuki theater. Uh, pretty sure I said that wrong, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I love the colors and the overall paint styles, you know, in these in these plays. I just it's so it's honestly very beautiful and very fascinating to me. I mean, I'd be able to understand most of what they say, but I do enjoy like just vibing with the whole with the whole thing. Oh, also, I completely forgot to record me adding her horns. So sorry about that. But I did add them. <laughs> her original horns weren't dragony enough for me. Plus they kind of got lost in her hair most of the time. So I went with a more of a kind of accurate styled dragon horns. I honestly prefer this style of dragon horns mostly because of like how pretty they are. Like it looks like coral shaped in like a really a pretty deer horn style, you know? Anyway, uh, I don't have much else to really say about the design other than, like, I wish I could have really done some... I don't, I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> I just don't know what else I can say. Like, I feel I could really get all the pieces just right if I had more to go off with her personality and background. Because Kar Kagami is the only, like, I wouldn't necessarily say main character, but she is part of, like, the front runner cra cast. Uh, <laughs> Kagami's in a weird spot in terms of main character, but like she's 
the one character we know the least about. Like, we haven't even been to her house. And just, we're in four seasons and we still don't know anything about her. But either way, I had fun. I had fun with this. Like, did I cry a lot? Yeah. Did I not want to do it and never come back? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kinda. I mean, <laughs> but I'm happy I'm finished because now I get to finally work on Alistair and Angel Dust redesign. Because I am just bursting at the seams to tell you guys how I feel about these final designs. If you can even call them that. So get ready. It's going to be a hell of a ride. <laughs> but thanks you guys for being patient. And you're all real troopers. And I really appreciate every one of you guys for sticking with me through this. Because <laughs> uh, it's just been a lot lately. Plus I've noticed that there's a YouTuber that has dropped s similar videos to mine. Like only a few days afterwards. Which... <laughs> Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. <laughs> I'm not mad in any way. I just think it's really funny. And I, I'm i the type of person that gets like really, um, what do you call it? Uh, paranoid? Oh, I'm outing myself. I'm sorry. I do get paranoid over the weirdest things. And then my roommate has to go, you know you're not the only one who thinks of these things. And I'm like, I know, I know. It's just I need to learn to let go. <laughs> I'm not mad. I really don't care. I just thought it was funny that it happened twice. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> if it happens again, then I'm really going to be like, <sighs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a re I'm in a very weirdly good mood for someone who's sitting in their closet in the dark. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but anyway, <laughs> remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, uh, I have a co I have a Kofi account as well. If you like what I do and, and want to support me, I've left a link in in my description. Cause YouTube has kind of turned into my job now, in a way. So any bit helps, really. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone has an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.